we got an absolute doozy here. The Las Vegas Raiders, the pirate Raiders. pirate ship is literally falling apart. Um, maybe the coach will have to walk the plane plank catching three and a half here. Plus one twenty on the money line. 36 is the total. Another ridiculously low total. How can, I mean, um, De- Devonte Adams is not practicing uh, and it's not football related. Max Crosby is not practicing and it seems more injury related. Uh, yeah. And, and- Antonio Pierce <laughs> by multiple reports seems to have lost there's at least factions in the locker room that he's not aligned with. Well, it is funny that they're they're Raiders that they you know embody the yeah. pirate lifestyle, and in true pirate form, there there's a mutiny going on where there's like different factions, and they're ready to overthrow the captain. Uh, Devonte Adams getting trade asking to get traded to another ship. He did officially request to be traded. Chats reporting that he's on a flight to New York right now. Ryan, is this uh this number looks off because I, I thought it was two and a half. You're showing three and a half? I pulled this from the the old circa app before the before the, the show. So three and a half? That's crazy. Is it incorrect? Let me uh let me look let me confirm that right. No, two and a half. Okay. Errors have been made. Yes. Uh two and a half. Because three and a half to me was a little crazy. I love the Broncos here. I could see the contrarian take, uh, or I don't even know. I don't even know where the. Um, this is going to be embarrassing, because I liked it at three and a half, so I, I love it at two and a half. <laughs> How do you play the Raiders right now? Samir White sucks. We were lied to. Yes. Antonio Pierce, fuck you. This is probably what got him in trouble in college at Arizona State. I, I again, I don't understand. I don't understand the handicap for the Raiders. If there truly is this turmoil that's going on now, they go and they play a team with a good home edge playing really good defense and no offense, Hmm. but they can run the ball and teams have had success running the ball against this Raiders team. To To me, it comes down to can Denver slow down Brock Bowers? If yes, then I love. I but love. I mean, look at just look at how bad Minshew has been. Three and fifteen straight up. Last uh, eighteen starts as an underdog. Uh, that's not a good spot. I think. Sean, I don't think it's Minshew's problem. I, I no, it's weird. Minshew's all right, but I do think, I do think the market is correct in that he struggles to win uh, straight up when he's a dog. I love the coaching matchup here for the Broncos. Sean Payton versus Antonio Pierce. Off a game where they really kind of had no business winning at home at elevation. Um, now the the Raiders, if you're looking at float chart, they have had the Broncos number. Um, but Antonio Pierce pointing out Max Crosby quote still battling at the end of the day. My job is to protect Max Crosby from Max Crosby. That's odd because Max never missed time before you and no, Pierce. No, what are you I, protecting him from? It does seem like it actually is injury, but. Um, Broncos fourth in defensive EPA. That going up against this Raiders offense, I think, is just going to be uh, so much trouble. And then whoever the the Raiders' best receiver is trying to get open against, and maybe they put Sertan. Uh, they they work out some bracket coverage on uh, Brock Bowers. I, I don't know. I I just like the matchup. No, oh, just take away Jacoby Myers or whoever the number two. I, I think yeah. it's going to be very difficult for the Raiders to move the ball. Yeah. Yeah, uh, their tackle um, is dealing with an, a knee ankle issue. Guard is dealing with his Achilles. Uh, their cornerback, uh, De, uh, De Marion Richardson, dealing with a hamstring. And as bad as Bo Nix has looked, uh, stat wise, whatever. I know he had seven completions for negative seven passing yards. He actually, especially in that Bucks game, I think thought he got a little bit of confidence. Again, it's going to be very heavy run action, play action, easy throws for Bo Nix. And I think there might be a little quit in this Raiders team considering how bad things are going. Do, do you know um, anything about the Michael Mayer situation? Uh, he's out for personal reasons. I didn't, I didn't dive deeper than that. He's out dealing with personal stuff. No timetable for his return. Bad sign, bad sign. It, I mean, it, if there's no timetable, that means Whatever is going on, probably not going to be. What could it be? No, I don't know. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Is it is it possible Family that he's member. another he's another dog that needs to be traded? Uh, well, it's also interesting too, and he was also kind of banged up. 
Um, I don't. What was his snap count last game? Because I saw a ton of Harrison Bryant, and he might be like a dark horse uh, prop if you want to get down on uh, on something with Harrison Bryant. What was a uh, what was his uh, what was his snap count? Or what do you remember him in that game at all? Uh, he had. A, I, mean, I I feel like I remember him having a moment. Um, but it was it was noticeable because he didn't have a lot of moments. I think he caught one pass. No, actually, it was that was it. it, it Harrison Bryant caught a pass, and we're like, oh, that's not Michael Mayer. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think bad vibes. That's all. That's just one of those things. Yeah, bad, bad vibes. Bad vibes all around. We're both on the Broncos laying two and a half.